Is it going? Yeah. All right, so one of the questions that we got from you guys is, what are the essential items that you bought for the Great Loop uh, that you would recommend? Mm -hmm. And we are gonna do this video, but we also have another future video that we're gonna have to do about stuff that we thought we needed and we bought and we did not use or just didn't serve us well. So tonight we're gonna show you the 12 things that um, we really did use and needed for mm -hmm. our Great Loop. So cheers. Cheers. So the first is this rechargeable fan. Uh, we have two of these on board. I need one for some ambient noise in my stateroom. Uh, I sleep better like that, especially when we're on anchor and there's just different wave noise and uh, things creaking and whatnot. Uh, this charges by USB and on low power, it'll last all night long, no problem, without uh, any po shore power or generator power or battery power. And then uh, on medium, it'll last most of the night. And on high, I love it at the helm station. So uh, you might have seen this in the background of some of my uh, helm shots where it's clean clamped on to our bimini top and uh, I love that it keeps some uh, wind especially uh, when we're in kind of like a still hot day uh, it keeps this yeah. blowing over me cools me off so I wish uh, we had two more yeah they, they these are really uh, they were a little bit more expensive than I would have liked but they really served us super super well mm -hmm. and highly recommend them so we'll put a link to all this stuff below uh, buy it if you want don't if you don't mm -hmm. Uh, number two is the Instapot, which you all know what an Instapot looks like, but I'll bring it up. Okay, so we have a large one at home, but um, this small one came on the boat thanks to the previous owners, and so we weren't going to like lug an Instapot all the way over here, but we were so thrilled when we saw that we had one, and honestly, Seth uses it a lot more than I do, because um, he likes the, the quick and dirty easy. Uh, get dinner done kind of a deal and but every time he uses it I'm delighted yeah so we run this on our 2000 watt inverter aboard yes. witness and so we can do it underway I've made chili in here we've made all kinds of different like uh, maybe soups and noodle dishes and things mm -hmm. like uh, we've slow roasted pork for uh, like barbecued pork mm -hmm. and uh, different roasts and things like that so I've used it way more than I use the instapot at home mm -hmm. just because it's a way to cook while underway yes. and on inverter, like if we're on anchor and such. Mm -hmm. So uh, Instapot, do it. Mm -hmm. uh, next, Spotify. So we bought like the unlimited, whatever family plan Spotify thing. And I highly recommend it. Ad, no ads, everything's great. As long as you have some pretty good internet, which we've had for most of the loop, we've done well. But uh, in order to play that, through our stereo system on Witness, we've got speakers like everywhere here. Uh, we use this guy, and this is a Bluetooth receiver that also transmits on the FM. So we can use our 20 year old uh, Clarion stereo aboard Witness and tune in to the FM station that this is. And then each of our phones can connect to this. So I can spin tunes, our son can spin tunes. We can uh, really enjoy, she can listen to audiobooks. Sometimes there's clash of the tunes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, during our long crossing, Madeline and I used it to listen to an audiobook. So this just plugs into your cigarette lighter. It has USB uh, plug-ins for charging your devices, so uh, the tunes will not end. So uh, <laughs> we, we've we gone through two of these on the loop, uh, one inferior, yeah, and then this, this one has been really just killer. And you can also use it uh, as a speakerphone and like way more features than we do. So again, link below for this guy. I have a couple of things that we replaced inferior things for a better thing. So when we first, number four is carpet cleaner. Now, when we first came aboard, we had a different brand. Um, in fact, I used it before we went underway and was underwhelmed. And so we left it and said, you know, this isn't worth the space. Um, and then we realized we have, <laughs> we have a dog and children. And so we better find a good one. And this Hoover has been fantastic. Like yeah. it just picks up all of the great things and with the scrubbing and the what's a good word vacuuming yeah. you know uh so and the the cleaner is really easy to use and um and it's pretty small yeah it, it's compact and just fits right in the closet yeah and a few loopers have this thank you mom with a map 
for the recommendation for this because every week we've owned it since you recommended it, mm -hmm. we have used it. So uh, really appreciate that. Next up is our grill. I did a whole video about uh, why marine grills kind of suck and <laughs> why, like, and I was just joking with somebody that we had on board this week that they have two levels. Uh, high full blast burn your food or uh oops the wind blew it out that's yes. that's it and so i have had the weber q on board this year and it has been amazing uh the best boat grill i've ever had i use the magma uh, mounts to adapt it to mm -hmm. our rail and they have them in different rail sizes so uh definitely a huge upgrade for us we grill all the time so and our... we use it at home for camping too yeah, so our yeah. two ways to cook on Witness are the Instapot mm -hmm. and our, our Weber Q. So, and uh, the microwave. Highly recommend, yes, <laughs> sure. Okay, number six, also something that we started out with an inferior battery pack model um, and switched later, it was a, a small vacuum for the boat. Now this looks extra small, but it does come with an extender so you can actually stand up and use it. Um, but this Eureka um, rechargeable model is just, super stellar and does a much better job at vacuuming up all the little things and all the dog hair and Mal and I both have long hair and so there's a lot of vacuuming on board and um, it since it can go into different parts pieces uh, we can split them up and and it's easy to um, store inside of the ottomans of our coffee table yeah and so witness came with a whole house vac and yeah, that's true but it does not come with like a beater bar and mm -hmm. it uh honestly it does it sucks it doesn't does or doesn't suck yeah. it just uh it didn't do the job uh you're carrying a long hose throughout the whole boat it was cumbersome and took up a lot of space so that sat under our dinette bench we removed that we bought this uh we use that space for pantry yeah and this is the best solution that we've had uh some people have the dyson if you can afford it do it but uh this <laughs> yeah. is this has been perfect as a boat vacuum for us mm -hmm. uh next up and it's kind of a low uh, low blow because you've heard enough about our dinghy but we have loved our highfield dinghy and these are in no no order at all otherwise it'd be number one because we have used the poo out of this yeah. dinghy uh the kids have gone off and adventured solo in it um uh, we've had uh, like date night alone time in it uh if i need to get away from the boat i go out in it it's been a tool to get us to shore to get us to uh, provision uh other things like that it's just it changed our loop when we had our old dinghy i had back pain from like twisting in the yeah. outboard the tiller drive uh Melon got soaked wearing a white skirt to dinner and it just ruined our day yeah it's it it changed our loop when we got it and we are so thankful we splurged to get mm -hmm. it uh i i would highly recommend number one the dinghy number two an efficient way to launch it this hydraulic swim three, platform Bourbon amazing City. Yacht tenders. Yacht tenders. yeah thank yes. you dustin absolutely the best decision we made all year mm -hmm. okay number eight is this pressure washer so our boat does not come with an anchor wash down and this uh, Ryobi Easy Clean has a compartment for a rechargeable battery that we you can use interchangeably with our other Ryobi tools. And uh, what I do is I, I prime the pump, so to speak, uh, with this long hose. And then I take it up front and you've probably seen me use it on um, some videos, but this little thing is really powerful because the mud and the weeds, uh, every time I bring up the anchor, must be cleaned off because the the anchor locker is goes right next to our daughter's room and like she would not be able to handle any smells of any mud on the loop. And so this is just invaluable. I use it every time that we anchor. Yeah, yeah. We don't have an anchor wash down. This yeah. has been the solution for us and it's, it's, it's really worked great. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is sometimes you need some levity uh, aboard <laughs> and we have celebrated birthdays and holidays and other things this is a portable disco ball and it is either battery powered or usb powered and it's got a suction cup on it we suction this on the dash we turn on the party lights for whatever color the circumstance recommends mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or warrants and uh, we've had red white and blue we've had uh, rainbow we've had whatever and it has really 
it lightens brought some joy. It brings joy to people mm -hmm. and it and it brightens the mood. We we had it this was our Christmas lights. We had some others around, but this mm -hmm. was cool to have out here in the cockpit lighting it up. So uh it, it kinda got lost for a little while and uh I think we're gonna have a dance party tonight. Yeah. All right. Uh so number ten is our mattress pads. And so we're not gonna like bring that up and show you, but um for all four of us I use the same mattress pads that I use at home, already tried and true tested. And um, when he thought about maybe we should try some cheaper options, I said, uh-uh. Like, you you would be very lucky to get a boat that has a comfortable mattress. And we did not. But the mattress pads made this night and day difference. Like, I sleep very comfortably every night. Yeah. And I have a bad back. And uh, mm -hmm. it has, it's been great. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Right. I love it. Next up, uh, our son brought this, and I thought, oh geez, that thing is going to just be another tumbleweed just blowing around the boat. But it is a mini waffle maker, and uh, it again it uh, can run on our 2,000 watt inverter. Mm -hmm. And the ability for a kid to make his own breakfast. Oh, well, he makes us breakfast too. Priceless, and he yeah, he'll mix up some pancake waffle batter and just like run this thing, and it is great perfect he does eggs in this mm -hmm. he does uh you know waffles he does uh cinnamon roll if you're lucky it'll yeah. make you the two cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls the pillsbury cinnamon rolls fantastic so thank you mason for feeding us breakfast on the loop it's been awesome okay and then of course number 12 our marriage savers yeah these i mean there's just no way we now, can get around without these we knew from backing up trailers together and me talking him through backing up a trailer into our small um, uh, like covered storage for our boats that when we're yelling at each other we act like we're yelling at each other when we're actually just raising our voices and so at home we switch to calling each other on the phone but for on a boat you have to be hands-free um, so you can do all the ropes and do all the things and so these are worth their weight in gold. Yeah. And I would say that um, we just have the two, and so the both of us can communicate. Mm -hmm. um, but with four of us on board, uh, we're a little bit cheapskates. So we did <laughs> not buy four. And at sometimes I really wish we had, because yeah. to be all in sync and to not miscommunicate uh, the directions, like sometimes it's, we're coming in, we're going to dock on the port side, yeah. and we end up on the starboard side, and we can communicate but then inevitably then we have to yell at the kids. a kid, you know, misses the message or, you know, uh, thinks you're yelling at them because they're doing something wrong and they're not. And so I would say if we were to do it again, mm -hmm. we would do four. And Cinda Boomershine on Seashine said that her kids have had them as well. And the hilarious things that they said uh, was worth it. Just the comedy. Yeah. So we've got so many other gadgets and things like our Amazon has just been insane this year for the Great Loop. <laughs> but uh, so if you have any questions about, oh, should I buy this or should I not? Or uh, is this a good one or, or not? Or what would you recommend? Please uh, hit us up in the comments. We're happy to help. Uh, but this is the you know top stuff that served us this year. Uh, there's other stuff that did not serve us as well. And uh, we're going to make another video for that. So uh, stay tuned for those. Cheers. Cheers.